Hello all you beautiful souls of the wasteland and welcome back to another top 5 video and in this video today we're going to be covering the top 5 power armor sets that you could get your hands on in Fallout 76. So as you know power armor isn't just for looking like a badass but it is also a vital tool in the wasteland that could significantly boost your survivability. So follow along as we go through the top 5 that you can get your hands on in this video. Starting off this list with number 5 we have the most useful power armor set if you are a low level. Yes, that's right. We have the excavator power armor set. While it's technically more of a tool than a traditional combat armor, it is still a must-have and completely viable if you are a lower level. It's been a game changer for many players, including myself, especially during my first 200 levels because this was literally the only power armor that I used because of the bonuses. One of those bonuses being you get more resources if you're wearing all five armor pieces when you fucking mine anything. So if you're trying to get more or lead, and if you walk up to a lead mine, or a lead ore, excuse me, with uh, this bad boy on, you get more ore, which then could be turned into more lead with the uh, with perk guards. So it's it's kind of ideal for crafting ammo. Uh, and then also, you gain an additional 100 carry weight, which is incredibly valuable for this being a fucking hauling power armor set. It will give you an extra 100 weight, which is fucking awesome awesome. You're going to need it, especially with all of those, uh, all that lead ore that you're going to be gathering with this. You're going to need it. I, I recommend you get this as fast as possible. So let's get into the stats. So like I said earlier, this isn't the best combat armor in the game. It is more of a tool and the base damage resistance is only 240 at max level, which again is pretty low compared to other sets on this list. But that carry weight and that ore boost make it so, so, so valuable and a much needed tool for resource management. I recommend keeping a set on hand, especially if you're frequently gathering materials or going and hunting legendary items. You could get this set of armor from completing the Minor Miracle quest uh, for it, level 25 is basically what you need to be in order to complete this quest. You can get it super early on, and then you'll have an extra 100 carry weight, and you'll be able to get even more resources from mining, which is much needed. Coming in at number four, we have the very sexy Ultra Sight Power Armor set that was introduced in Fallout 76. This set is very similar to the T60 and T51B in terms of damage resistance, but offers higher overall health and slightly better radiation resistance. While it might not stand out in terms of excitement, it definitely looks awesome and its increased protection can be useful in various scenarios. Like I said, it has better damage resistance than the alt, than the uh, excavator power armor it has better radiation resistance than the uh, t51b and excavator and you're just not going to get that beautiful boost of a hundred extra carry weight like with the excavator power armor but it can be very useful so let's get into the stats like we did with with the excavator the ultra safe power armor provides a base dr of 453 at max level which is solid but not the best in the entire game so obviously it's only at number four there are going to be better power armor sets out there it is a reliable choice for players who want a bit more protection without the bells and whistles of the other sets if you cannot get them. I, it's not a bad armor set to work your way up to the better ones on this list, so just keep that in mind. Although it's not the most thrilling option, it definitely deserves a spot on this list. Like I said, it was one of the first power armor sets that I fully completed, and I used it for a very long time. I, I didn't have any problems with it. It has great DR, it has great radiation resistance, and a little bit more health overall. So that's why it's at number four on our list. Now let's jump into number three. Before we jump to that sweet number three spot, I just wanted to add in order to acquire the Ultra Zide Power Armor in Fallout 76, all you have to do is start the Defiance Has Fallen quest at Abby's Bunker and beat the Belly of the Beast mission at Fort Defiance. Then a pre made set is rewarded to you if you finish that quest line. So you basically just have to finish the Brotherhood of Steel quest line really easy, and then boom, you get this awesome set of power. Power armor, which is great for early game. 
And coming in at that number three spot, claiming the bronze medal on this list, is the Strangler Heart Power Armor. In my opinion, this set is the most visually striking armors in the game. And it also offers extremely unique gameplay benefits, especially if you're running an unarmed build. We'll get more into that in a second. While its original method of acquisition through the Vault Raid was more exciting, the armor itself remains a standard out choice. So you just buy the armor with gold now, so you just have to spend gold because they got rid of the vault raids even though they're bringing it back in the new update. So that is going to be something to look forward to. I'm sure that that new vault raid will introduce a whole new host of rewards, but in order to get the strangler heart you don't have to do a vault raid, just purchase it with gold. And it is fucking, it looks awesome, it's really cool at that point in Fallout, that was the whole entire big thing, they were doing the the Strangler and everything like that, they were going through that storyline, and this was one of the sets of power armor, or one of the sets of armor that you could get, and it looks fucking beautiful. If you are running an unarmed build, you will get a poison boost, if you have the full set equipped, uh, when striking an enemy with your hands, <laughs> with your fists, so that is really cool. Uh, it may not outperform some other sets sets in terms of stats on this list, uh, but it is really fucking cool, and it that's why it is a number three for me. It has a base DR of 453 at max level. It's on par with the Ultrasight, but with a little added flair. Plus, its high cost added a little bit of a status symbol to your loadout. So if you know, if you see someone pulling up with this, they kind of have big dick energy, especially if they're running around and just punching a bunch of fucking super mutants. It kind of adds a little bit to it. It's definitely, definitely really fun to use and super helpful. That's why it's at number three on this list. Jump it in to number two for that sweet silver. And coming in at number two to claim that sweet silver metal spot, we have the T-65 power armor, which a lot of you are probably saying, dude, what the hell are you talking about? It's widely considered the best statistical power armor in Fallout 76, which, yeah, 100%, you're right. There's just one more power armor set that I think is more useful, in my opinion. Um... Yeah, so let's let's talk about the T65. I love it. I do rock this one very often in events, uh, especially those raid events uh, like the Queen or Earl or anything like that. But this set offers unparalleled damage resistance, making you an absolute tank on the battlefield. It's the armor choice for raid bosses and intense combat situations, like I said. Plus, you basically never die if you have this thing on, so you're good. Like, li literally, <laughs> I, I fucking rarely go down in this thing. I feel like I, I tend to really only use it during events, or if I just don't, or if I'm exploring some new content and I just don't want to fucking die. So, it's, it's, it's amazing. And obviously, the damage resistance of this thing is going to be extremely high at 565 at max level. The T65 provides exceptional protection, especially when paired with a bolstering legendary effect if you're aiming for the ultimate defense. This set is definitely worth the gold and effort to acquire. It's the best you could get in terms of raw protection. So, although it's at number two, I am fully admitting it is the best power armor set in the game in terms of statistics. You not wrong about that one 100%. A lot of people use the T65. If you just want the best damage resistance and the best overall protection, get a T65 power armor set with the bolstering legendary effect and you will be perfect, I promise you. And also, it's you feel like a tank. You won't die with this thing. I Just get the T65. It is the statistical best power armor in the game. So you're probably asking yourself, what the fuck could beat it out? And Let's talk about that. But first, before we hop on to number one, in order to get the T65, like I said, all you have to do is just spend some gold. You don't have to complete a quest or anything like that. You just have to pay for it. So good luck grinding the gold, but it definitely is worth it. Now on to the number one spot. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the moment that you have all been waiting for in my opinion, the best power armor set in all of Fallout 76, we have the Union Power Armor. Gasp, I know, I know a lot of you are probably typing in the comments right now, fuck you, you have no idea what you're talking about, the T65 is better. My favorite is the Union Power Armor, or ever, partially because of how rare it is and also because of the bonuses. This set brings a unique combination of features that sets it apart from the rest of the list. It offers plus 75 carry weight, which is 
the only reason why I would suggest using the excavator power armor. So it kind of gets rid of that because boom, you have 75 extra carry weight plus all of your perks and all of your mutations and everything like that. So you're basically going to have almost the same carry weight as you would in the excavator power. And also you have 150 poison resistance, which making which makes it incredibly useful for heavy gunners dealing with those extremely toxic environments, which with new additions to Fallout 76, we never know what they're going to add. That new snake raid boss could possibly, it looks like it has something to do with poison, so the union power armor is going to be extremely useful. Now, jumping into the stats, it has a base DR of 465 at max level, which makes it surpass the Ultrasight and Strangler Heart in terms of protection at a base level without perks or anything like that. The Union Power Armor's distinct design and the reference to the pit make it not only functionally functional, but also so visually appealing without any skin. I think it is the second best looking power armor after the Strangler Heart, but because it has a nice little Fallout 3 reference with the pit and everything like that, it takes the number one spot for me. It strikes a balance between solid DR and the quality of life improvements that every heavy, heavy gunner needs in the wasteland, making it a great choice if you could get your grubby little hands on it. Now, partially, I said it is extremely rare because the only way to get it is through stamps, so you better go ahead and grind out those expeditions with the most dangerous game. I promise you, it's worth the grind. I got this as soon as I could get my hands on it because of that carry weight, and it has a significantly higher damage resistance than the Excavator Power Armor. It, however, it is 100 damage resistance below the T65 the at max level, so just keep that in mind. It is not the best for damage resistance. However, with the perks that you could throw on and mutations, you could have more carry weight than any other power armor set besides the Excavator, and almost more damage resistance than any other power armor set besides the T-65. So, I, I think it's the best of both worlds. It's extremely useful and a great damage resistance. So, all you beautiful people of the Wasteland, there you have it, our top five power armor sets in Fallout 76. In my opinion, each of these armors brings something special to the table, whether it's protection, utility, style, or a combination of all of them. Do you have a favorite power armor set in Fallout 76 that didn't make the list? Share your thoughts in the comment below. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like, subscribe, and just hit the fucking bell icon to stay notified for more Fallout 76 lists, tips, and strategies. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, I appreciate you motherfuckers for stopping by and watching this motherfucking video, and as always, until next time, stay safe in the wasteland. Let me know what you guys thought about everything below in the comments.